Hello, and I'm going to be showing you how to extract the Doom 1 and 2, as well as the No Rest for the Living WAD files from the Doom 3 BFG edition. So first, you want to locate your Steam folder. Um, most people probably already know how to do this, but it's in Program Files, x86, if you're running a 64-bit OS, and then Steam. Then go to Steam Apps, and Common, and then you'll find all of your games that you have installed. And you're going to locate Doom 3 BFG Edition, which is in all caps. Or at least sends the edition. And then you find this, which is the Doom 3 uh, BFG Edition root folder. Very similar to the original Doom 3, except with less uh, clutter, I guess. But uh, back to this, then you want to go find the base folder. Go to WADs. And then we'll find Doom.WAD, Doom2.WAD, and Nerve.WAD, which is the No Rest for the Living expansion, I guess you want to call it, for Doom 2. And uh, since I already have Doom 1 and 2... I'm just going to copy this one since this is newly released for the PC. Copy this, drag it into your favorite source port. I use GZ Doom. And uh, bring this up. Then uh, select what you want to use. Doom 2, obviously. And then this will pop up. Doom 2 base. Uh, select your difficulty. And there we go. We got no rest for the living on the PC. Um, should have been should have happened a long time ago, but I guess good that we finally have it. I played through this on the Xbox version. It was pretty fun. And I'm, I guess I'm excited to play through it again. The only problem is the music is the Doom 2 bass music and not the uh, mixed up tracks that was in the No Rest for the Living expansion. But that is very easy to fix. All you need to do is look up what tracks were in what. Um, and recompile a map info, throw that into the WAD file, or just run it alongside the WAD file, and that'll be easy. I'll probably do that eventually when I'm done fiddling around with Doom 3. We also don't have to worry about the shitty new graphics. Like the, uh, the pill on the health kit. That's nice. I'm also running this with high-res textures, because, uh, my source port auto-defaults, or auto-loads that whenever I load it up. So, yeah, there we go. Let's try another map. Let's see, let's try map four. Got the focus music, but you know, like I said before, you can just change that with the map info. The focus, it also doesn't change the level names, but again, change that with map info. It's not really a big deal. You're getting the maps, and that's really all that matters. You can also look up and down, use, you know, crouch and jump. Uh, these maps are actually pretty tough, well, at least they were when I was using it with an Xbox controller, because, you know, you had to play it on the 360 before. But, grab some health, fucking jumping over it. But, it pretty much works fine. Let's try another map out. I just almost got killed. Oh, I did get killed, that's nice. Alright, let's try map 7. Which one is this? Dead Simple, of course, yep. Uh, this is Baron's Banquet, I believe. Again, I'm probably just gonna make my own map info. You can probably find one online eventually. Uh, I might put it up for download if anyone wants it, but I probably guarantee that no one will need it because it's not really important. It's just aesthetic changes, and I guess music changes. But, you get what you really want, which is the maps, so that's cool. Again, run this with Doom 2 in your favorite source port. And, um, stay tuned for more BFG Edition stuff later today.